Tennessee end of course practice test, question number 33, it's for Algebra 1. Uh, which graph best represents the equation? There's a couple ways I can do this. I can convert it into slope-intercept form, or I can do the intercepts method. Intercepts method is the method that you use where um, x and y don't get along, and you try to show uh, what the world would be like without x, and then what the world would be like without y. It's a little bit like um, it's a wonderful life. So in the first one, I'm just going to eliminate that y term and rewrite 5x equals 12. And in the second set, I'm going to get rid of the 5x and have negative 3y is equal to 12. Now I'm just going to solve these. x is equal to 2 and uh, 2.4 or 2 and 2 fifths, whatever. And then divide by negative 3. y is equal to negative 4. Now these are my intercepts on the graph. So I'm going to go down, find one where y equals negative 4. Well, here's, here's one. Um, and that's, here's another one. So it's either A or C right off the bat. Um, also, I'm looking for my X being 2.4. Well, this is negative, so it's not this one. So my answer, here's 2.4 right here, is C. If you don't like that method, you want to get Y by itself because you just love punching buttons in the calculator, you need to convert this into slope-intercept form. So subtract 5X from both sides. These cannot combine because one has an X and the other doesn't. Divide by negative 3. And you get y is equal to 5 thirds x minus 4. Sorry about my crappy handwriting. And there it is. It's the only one that looks like this. So the answer to number 33 is A.